elusive man wishes to speak to you in the debriefing room, Commander. I'm surprised by Thane's spiritual side. His psych profile mentioned little of it, and he carries himself with such cold confidence. I'm not sure if I find him scary or sexy. A lot of women like bad boys. Oh, I don't know. Good guys are pretty nice, too. Anyway, how may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Garrus received some news that put fire in his eyes. Maybe you should speak with him down in the main battery. Tally seems very distraught after receiving a message. Maybe you could check in on her down in engineering. Grunt seems very anxious, pacing down in the cargo hold. You might want to check in on him. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. It's always nice chatting with you. I've got an appointment with Shaira in three months. I can't wait. We're flying into the eye of the storm, and you're thinking about some Asari prostitute? Hey, watch it. It's not like that at all. She's so... she's... You won't understand unless you meet her. Oh, another dangerous alien aboard, Commander. Thanks! Why can't you collect coins or commemorative plates or something? I assume everything is going well up here? Good for now. Fractured my thumb on the mute, but I think I made my point. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last. I'm not saying anything about Jack. I'm not stupid. Zaid is like you, but takes checks. As long as it's not my money, we're good. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's it for now. See you, Commander. Yes, Shepard. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Still need to get to Chuchanka, Shepard. My students being held by blood pack. I'll talk to you later, Morden. We'll be here if you need me. something. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? My old contact network often located rare equipment for me. Would you like me to get in touch with them? Let's see what they've got. something. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Not at all. We need to have the best equipment possible to take on the collectors. Do you have any leads I could chase down? I've already upgraded the Normandy's exploration probes. I have no additional suggestions. The Drell live on the Hanar homeworld, don't they? Yes. I know many think the Hanar are difficult to understand. It's just that they're very formal with those they don't know. We know them quite well. If you ever get close enough to a Hanar that they tell you their soul name, you would find them warm. I thought that Hanar only let very close friends know their soul name. Most of my commissions were for Hanar. I grew close to my regular contacts. Soul names tend to be poetic. A Hanar known for its cynicism might take a name that means illuminates the folly of the dancers. Hanar talk using bioluminescence. That's more of an obstacle than their politeness. True. Many Drell have had their eyes genetically modified to perceive their higher frequency flashes. I had the treatment. 
I can't tell the difference between a dark red and black, but I can see ultraviolet light as a silver color. When you pray for the wicked, who exactly are you praying to? That depends on the circumstance. To find my target, I speak with Emonkira, Lord of Hunters. When I act to defend another, Arashu, goddess of motherhood and protection. And when I have taken my target, I speak with Kalahira, goddess of oceans and the afterlife. I didn't know that Drell had many gods. It's one of our older beliefs. Many embrace the Hanar and Kindlers now, or the Asari philosophies. The old ways are dying. There are so many ways to interpret one's place in the universe. Who needs the wisdom of our ancestors? The younger generations don't believe they can help us fathom genetic engineering, orbital strikes, or alien races. Oceans and afterlife don't seem to have much in common. Consider. The ocean is full of life, yet it is not life as you and I know it. To survive there, we must release our hold on land, accept a new way to live. So it is with the death. The soul must accept its departure from the body. If it can't, it will be lost. There's something else I'd like to talk about. Ask. Have a few minutes to talk? Certainly. We haven't had a chance since I joined. When we met you, you said you were dying. Yes. I thought you'd want to know more. You don't have to worry about the rest of the crew. My illness is not communicable, even to other Drell. It's called Kepril Syndrome. What exactly is the problem? My people are native to an arid world. Most of us now live on Kaje, the Hanar homeworld. It's very humid and rains every day. Our lungs can't deal with the moisture. Over time, the tissue loses its ability to absorb oxygen. It becomes harder to breathe. Eventually, we suffocate. Can't they do something about that? The Hanar have funded a genetic engineering program. They should be able to adapt us. The project has only been running for a few years. I don't believe my body will still draw breath by the time it bears fruit. Then don't live on Kaji, or use breathers. Drell have a close relationship with the Hanar. We rely on each other. The best we can do is keep our homes very dry inside. Are you going to be all right until the end of the mission? I should be fine for another eight to twelve months. The more time I spend in humid environments, the faster it progresses. I think it's safe to say that by the time my body is incapacitated, we'll be victorious. Or dead. Either way, I won't be a burden to you. Is there anything we can do here? Normandy has a state-of-the-art medical bay. No, thank you. It's being attended to. If the finest medical minds in the Hanar Illuminated Primacy can't solve the problem, I doubt her ship's medic could. Thank you for your concern. Trust me, this won't affect my performance. So the Collectors did take New Canton? Yes, but my wife and daughter left in the nick of time. They're resting in San Francisco as we speak. That's great news. It is, but I knew a lot of good people in New Canton. Our mission has to succeed. Thank God Shepard's in command. Thank you, Commander. Rupert put the new supplies to good use. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I've got something. I may need your help. You remember Sidonis, the one who betrayed my team? I found a lead on him. There's a specialist on the Citadel, name's Fade. He's an expert at helping people disappear. Sidonis was seen with him. What are you planning to do when you find him? You humans have a saying. An eye for an eye, a life for a life. He owes me ten lives, and I plan to collect. You sure that's how you want to play it? I'm sure. I don't need you to agree with me, but I'd like your help. What happened? How did Sidonis betray your team? He tipped off the mercs, told them where our base was. He drew me out with a false job, then let the mercs hit my team. My men weren't prepared. They tried to hold them off. By the time I got back, there were only two survivors. They didn't last long. All ten of them dead. Because of him. Where do we find Fade? I've arranged a meeting. We'll meet him in a warehouse near the Neon Markets down on Zakara Ward. Thanks, Shepard. I appreciate you taking the time to help me.
This mission takes me back. I used to do a little scorched earth work here and there. Then the Batarians started muscling in. No one's as good with terror tactics as they are. I mean, the Krogans will come at you, break your face, kill your family. But the Batarians, they'll turn your planet into a glass parking lot without a second thought. I'm trying to remember... what was his name? Salarian Infiltration Specialist. Hunted Story Man. Guy could disable a station security with a few taps on an Omni-Tool. He went to work with Eclipse a few years back. Had to kill him for a job. Your Morden Solus kinda reminds me of him. I should let you go. Talk more later, Shepard. Shepard, I'm glad you came by. I may need your help. I just received a message from the migrant fleet. The Admiralty Board has accused me of treason. I'm scared, Shepard. Nobody who knows you could believe you'd betray your people, Tally. I don't know. They don't lay charges like this unless the evidence seems absolute. But thanks. I appreciate your faith in me, Shepard. Is it because you're working with Cerberus? I'm not working with Cerberus. I'm working with you. And I got leave to serve on the Normandy again. I have no idea what they're accusing me of. You'd think I would remember if I betrayed the fleet. What happens when a Quarian is accused of treason? There's a hearing with members of the Admiralty Board acting as judges. My father is an admiral on the board. He'll have to recuse himself from judgment. I can't even imagine what he's thinking right now. The punishment for treason is exile. If they convict me, I can never go back. So you have no idea why they're accusing you? None. The specifics of charges like this are rarely discussed on open channels. I won't know any more until I get to the flotilla. What happens if you're convicted? Like I said, exile. The specifics are up to the judges. If it's deemed only a tragic mistake in judgment, the guilty party might receive a small ship and supplies. Not that it really matters. Either way, if I'm convicted, I'll never see the migrant fleet again. So no prison and no death penalty? We don't have the spare resources for long-term incarceration. Monitored work detail is more effective. And we don't have enough people to afford executions. An exile can still have children, and those children are welcomed back to the fleet. How often is someone from the fleet charged with treason? It's rare. It must be something that affects the entire flotilla, not just one ship. The most recent one was Anora Vanya Vasilani, an engineer who handed over fleet defense schematics to the Batarians. She had good intentions. The Batarians were contracted to upgrade our systems, but they passed the defense schematics to a pirate gang. Was she convicted? No. She made a suicide run on the pirate gang. She destroyed them before they could attack the fleet. She was pardoned, posthumously. Let's hope I don't have to prove my innocence that way. So how does the trial work? How soon do we need to get you there? They'll wait a reasonable period of time for me to come and defend myself. Eventually, if I don't show up, they'll try me in absentia. As for how it works, it's less formal than an Earth trial, or something you'd see on the Citadel. We're a family. This is just the worst kind of family meeting. Okay, let's go find the flotilla. I was going to book passage on another ship. I didn't think there would be time for you to help. Thank you, Shepard. I'll program the Normandy with the flotilla's current location. The Admirals will be waiting for us. I hear that Rupert is actually cooking some good meals lately. Yeah, right. That scunner couldn't serve a good haggis if his life depended on it. But all haggis tastes like ass anyway. Aye, but in the right hands, it can taste like mighty fine ass.
Chambers said you're tearing up the place. Something wrong? Something is wrong, Shepard. I feel wrong, tense. I just want to kill something with my hands. More so than usual, like it's not my choice. Like I just want to, I don't know. See, why do that? What's wrong? Okir didn't imprint anything to help you figure this out? I see pictures of old battles, voices of warlords. But this is a blood haze in my head. I want control. When we're moving, fighting, I focus. But here, my blood screams, my plates itch, and even you are just noise. I'm tank-born. What is this? Don't know if I can help, Brent. Sounds like we need one of your kind to look into this. Most off-world Krogan are warriors. Doctors don't leave the homeworld to Chanka. I won't ask you to go there. I will control this. Joker can get us to the Krogan homeworld. I need everyone at their best. Thank you, Shepard. I don't like this. Fury is my choice, not a sickness. Shepard, the men's restroom is on the port side of the ship. 